Hello, Gemini, and Happy New Year. This is your January 2019 monthly reading, the first monthly reading of the beautiful new year. This one is for you, Gemini. If this resonates with you, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you, please check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Gemini out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable, so however it resonates with you. This is for Gemini. What is going on with Gemini for January 2019? Okay, all right. Okay. All right. So this has been coming up a lot. I feel like in in the new year, we're, we're wanting to get unstuck. A lot of us are getting unstuck and trying to move forward and trying to let our walls down and trying to let the love in, right? Um, very strong case of that for you as well, Gemini, right? We are stuck. And we're trying to get out of that restricted, trapped feeling, um, getting out of those ties that bind us, right? And a lot of times with the swords here that are surrounding us, it's, it's kind of in our head. We need to be more open to receiving, all right? So, and you know, the fear of being hurt is there and it's there for you in this reading for sure. But what is the new year going to bring if we hide? You know what I mean? We have to um, kind of set ourselves free, try to be open, try to work through all those past hurts and dramas for sure. Okay. This is, a, this is a, like a big theme for 2019 here and especially in these January readings. Um, moving on fresh new starts, where are we taking things, right? Um, so at the bottom of the deck, we have this Eight of Swords energy. This is Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So this is you, right? I've got Air here. I've got Earth here. I got a little bit of Fire here. Um, I got Water here. Everybody's here. So if the person that you are dealing with, if their sign pops up, then all the better. I'm going to be reading the energies of the cards. Um, but right now, I feel like you're just kind of stuck. You're stuck. And you want to become unstuck because you've got bigger and better things on your mind. It's just how do we become unstuck? How do we become unblocked to get to our goal, right? And this is all in our heads right now, all right? Maybe you're stuck in a situation you don't want to be in, but I feel like this is a lot of, um, of mental blockages, okay? That's what I want to say. Because not only this, you know, not only this, but look at that, right? Stuck. Our walls are up. Um, the fear of being hurt again is is there and we're not we're not letting um we're not letting the right energies in we don't want any more negative energies we don't want any um more uh painful dramatic endings we don't want in, uh betrayal we don't want to be stabbed in the back kind of a thing right so our walls are up and we are being very restricted. Um, we're, we, we don't want just anybody to um, occupy our heart, to, to pour out our emotions to, you know. 
because it's 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 been very painful in the past so our walls are up our walls are way way up we have this nine of wands here this is fire energy aries leo and sagittarius what is crossing that is trying to move on trying to move forward and i feel you're struggling with that gemini you're struggling with that trying to move on trying to move forward um, getting out of uh, bad, dramatic situations and moving on. We're struggling with that. We, we're blocked. Our defenses are up. And when, when that happens, you know, it's like we can't, we can't let the good stuff in. Yes, we keep the bad stuff out, but we, we can't let the good stuff in either. The root of this reading is a soulmate connection. Okay. This is, this is what we want. Um, this is what we are aiming for. I feel like not only in January, but for the rest of the year, two of cups, right? A soulmate connection, seeing eye to eye with somebody. Um, um, things are equal, equally sharing our cups of love with each other. You know, whether this is trying, I feel like you're trying to get away from drama and trying some new energy, somebody that you can find your peace with, somebody that you can move forward with. But right now, you know, like I said, you know, keeping out the bad, you're also keeping out the good. And it's it's a problem, you know, that blockage. And I've definitely experienced it too. I do have Gemini in my chart. I'm learning slowly on how to be open and how to receive the good stuff, right? Two of Cups here, this is Water Energy, Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. So that's kind of like the focus here. In the past, I do feel you were very open. You had a lot of love to give with this Queen of Cups energy. This is more water. You kind of wore your heart on your sleeve and it kind of, you know, maybe you gave your big cup of love to somebody that, um, Turns out, you know, they, they, they hurt you anyway. You gave your all to somebody and they hurt you anyway. And that's why, you know, all these walls are up and you're being very restricted with your emotion. That's what I'm getting here. So in the near future, Gemini, we're going to be doing a lot of contemplation a lot of deep thought maybe even meditation maybe even some therapy to um, try to work on um, bringing our walls down that's that's what this is about you know the swords are all about our thoughts here communication between you and maybe a soulmate energy is is not the best right now it's like we're having to take a time out um, and really go into deep contemplation to see where this is going to go, how this is going to go, right? There could be um, therapy here. There could be couples counseling here with this card. As you can see, you know, this person looks like they're kind of laying on a therapist's couch and talking, talking it out um, so that we can find this balance. This is what's crowning this reading right we need this balance with those libra scales right there right there we need reciprocity we need to see eye to eye we need this um, equilibrium between the two people um and this is the six of pentacles this is earth taurus virgo capricorn how can we get there um so it's it's like we're, we're going to have to come to an understanding um, we're going to have to work on working together. That's the key to this whole thing. Um, whatever work you put in, they're going to have to put in. Whatever emotion that you put in, they're going to have to put in because I don't think you are going to be dealing with something or someone that is not balanced for you anymore, Gemini. Okay? This is you in the equation, taking a, a moment. Um, you have not lost hope and faith in love or a specific situation. You see the star is still there. It's just like you can't, it's caged up, right? Your wish, your hopes, 
caged up and you can't can't quite get to it you're kind of holding it at bay at the moment um, this is Virgo energy so this is deep deep healing all right we're working on opening up we're working on how can we achieve those goals we're in deep thought deep contemplation meditation therapy these kinds of things working on our mind body spirit gearing up for bigger and better things because we want you know we want the prize we want something real and i feel like this is also you okay you're stepping you're going to be stepping back into your power stepping back into your own with this queen of swords energy here this is you gemini right not taking any more nonsense we are um, getting clear communication here. Where are we going with this? What are we doing with this? This queen's been through a lot. She's seen a lot, right? Like I always say, she's been there. She's got the t-shirts. <laughs> she's, been, she's been popping up in these readings too. We're getting clear. We're getting focused. We are not taking any nonsense here. Um, Taurus got this too. Um, but this is the kind of situation where we need to get clear. We need clarity. We're stepping back into our own, right? We're stepping back into our power. This is one of your cards here. And, and you are, I feel like you're stepping back into your power here, Gemini. Okay. A lot of healing, a lot of self work. We're, we're bringing those walls down. We are getting unstuck for sure. We want this balance. We want this equilibrium between the two. What we don't want is this. This is in your hopes and fears. Like I was saying before, you don't want any negative energy that's going to hurt you. You don't want um, dramatic endings anymore. You're tired of the drama. You're tired of... Um, feeling hurt you're tired of feeling the pain you're tired of feeling uh, betrayed or stabbed in the back that kind of energy you this you don't want this this is why your walls have been up but like I said we're you know blocking out the bad stuff we're also going to be blocking out the good stuff and this is what uh, January is all about it's probably going to go on through the rest of the year this healing process for you because you have a goal in mind here, Gemini, right? The outcome here is the Ten of Pentacles. So this is long-lasting commitment. This is abundance. This is longevity. This is loyalty. This is protection. This is family. You see the old man and the married couple there dancing at their wedding that's representing longevity the dogs are there for loyalty you see that little child there that's all about family and then the ten of pentacles coming down raining down that is abundance this is this is the ultimate goal here this is what you want to achieve with these cards here you need balance with a soulmate connection you need to know that it's going to last a lifetime and you need to know that this person's going to put the work in as much work as you have put into the situation you need to know that they feel the same as you do all right let's clarify this ten of Pentacles for Gemini for January 2019 Please clarify that Ten of Pentacles. Yeah. Another Libra energy. We are making decisions that um, are going to balance us. Okay. Decisions in your favor. We're making decisions that are going to achieve the goals that we want to make. We are going to be making, see these scales. This could be a big lesson here, a karmic lesson. This could be an apology coming towards you, which definitely could be, especially with this at the bottom of the deck, this Knight of Cups. Um, this is water energy, of course. This, These two together definitely could mean an apology. Let's get back on track here. Let's make this work. Let's make this last. Um, yeah. 
somebody is still caring here. Somebody still wants to offer their cup of love. And um, we're working it out. We're, we're, we're making it happen. We're working it out. We're, we're making all the right decisions here uh, to get to that ultimate goal of letting our walls down, receiving the love, right, from this soulmate energy, um, making all the decisions to create a commitment that's going to be balanced and that's going to last. This is for Gemini for January 2019. This is for Gemini for January 2019 for Gemini. This is for Gemini. This is for Gemini. Heart to heart conversations. Honestly discuss your feelings with each other. So opening up, talking it through, um, you know, maybe even going through, you know, some couples counseling, some therapy here. We're going to have to open up our heart, open up our emotions here, let our walls down, say the things that we need to say. Communication is definitely going to be key and getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So this could be a situation where it kind of fell apart and we are rebuilding, okay, in a, in a bigger and better way. Um, this is, you know, you getting to know somebody on a much deeper level, letting them, allowing them to know you on a much deeper level. And this is going to be accomplished through heart to heart conversations, <laughs> right? We're going to have to open up and, and talk about our, our hopes, our fears, our dreams, our emotions, okay? Because there's somebody, there's a soulmate energy out there, Gemini, that wants that deeper level here, okay? We want to create this unbreakable bond. That's what I want to say, especially with these two cards here, especially with this. We want to create... Uh, that unbreakable bond that is going to last. It's going to last. Okay. But we, we have to allow. We have to be open. We have to allow. And that can be very difficult when we, you know, you've been through so much. But it is possible. A lot of healing work here in uh, January that's probably like I said going to continue on through 2019 and that's perfectly fine right because the end goal the end game it's man it's it's going to be worth it right Gemini you need your balance just like me Libra I need my balance too all right so that is what we have for you for January 2019 I hope you guys have an amazing new year um, I go live Sunday through Thursday with the daily message around noon Eastern Standard Time. And then Friday is the live Love Luster Laws, also around noon Eastern Standard Time. And um, next week I'll be working on How Do They Feel About You series, so keep an eye out for that. And yeah, have a, have a great week, Gemini, and I will talk to you soon. God bless.